All right, so I'm gonna dive into something controversial. AI isn't going to replace software developers. It's creating a revolution of opportunity that most people aren't seeing clearly. So after witnessing every supposed development killer technology over 25 years, I can tell you with absolute certainty, AI is lowering the barriers to entry while simultaneously raising the ceiling of what's possible for software development. And that's going to explode demand for developers who understand how to harness it. So today we're gonna to talk about the real truth about AI taking software developer jobs and I'm gonna give you my inside scoop here. Let's dive in. Welcome to Startup Hack. I'm Spencer Thomason. Here at Startup Hack, we love to train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so every single revolutionary technology in the last 40 years has created more jobs than it has eliminated from PCs to mobile to cloud computing. AI tools are following this exact same pattern by making software development both more accessible to beginners and more powerful for experts. So the most telling evidence comes from Okta CEO Todd McKinnon, who recently called the idea that we'll need fewer developers in the future completely laughable. So my own clients across finance, healthcare, and retail are exp expanding their development teams, not shrinking them. And as AI tools get implemented, they're looking for more and more help from developers. Companies that understand the dynamic are positioning themselves to capitalize on the market and the massive wave of new software possibilities that are coming. So I've never seen a technology with more potential to multiply multiply developer impact while creating new job categories. So I wanna go over this report with you guys here. So let me get this screen switched over. So I wanna go over this article here. AI is tearing apart company survey finds. So how employees and C-suite review select areas of AI adoption in their company. So let's review this here because 47% of the employees feel that AI is well controlled and highly strategic, whereas 73% of executives, right? Then 45% think their company has been successful in adopting AI over the last 12 months, where 75% of executives show this. 57% said their company has an AI strategy. 89% of executives believe they were. Believe and 33% believe their company has a high level of AI literacy, where 64% of executives. So why the discrepancy, right? Why the difference here? AI adoption in the workplace deepened divisions and sparking new power struggles between leaders and workers with half of executives saying that AI is tearing their company apart. So the bigger picture here is executives are pushing AI as an inevitable revolution, but workers aren't buying it. So nearly all, 94% of C-suite executives surveyed say they're not satisfied with our current AI solution. What does that mean? It means they're gonna need a lot of developers to help them come in and implement this. 72% of C-suite leaders say their company was faced with at least one challenge in adopting AI. I'm sure it was a lot more than one. 71% of these leaders complain that AI applications are being created in a silo. Uh, that sounds so dangerous. Maybe like vibe coding of one developer and then saying, hey, look, it's done. 59% of executives say that they're actively looking for a new job with a company that's more innovative with generative AI. So among the employees, that number is only 35%. So this was a pretty decent sized survey, right? 800 C-suite executive and 800 employees, right? So even those C-suite leaders who believe their AI integration is proceeding smoothly are handing down policies and tools to a workforce that is more frustrated than they are. Less than half of employees versus 75% of the C-suites think their company's AI rollout has been successful. Now, I, I'm just telling you that this is really gearing up for a bunch of uh, a bunch of contention between C-suites. And this just goes to show you that the hype that you're getting at the C-suite level is very different than what the employees are feeling. A fascinating article just really shows us up, right? Now, these dis disconnects happen be because executives push AI as an inevitable revolution while the workers aren't buying it. So I've personally wanted Watch teams struggle with leadership treats AI as a magic solution rather than as a tool requiring skilled operators. So a respected developer I know who's been tracking AI impact points out that after two years of doom and prediction, we're still in a post we're still not in a post developer era, right? So it's already been two years since the very first meme that I got that said, Hey, you're gonna be out of work. And I'm like, Oh yeah, really? Like, great. And so far. I'm seeing more development, not less. So the reality is that every successful AI implementation has skilled human developers that are cr as the critical ingre ingredient. 
So let's check out this other article from the register because I think this one's also really telling. LLM providers are on the cusp of an extinction phase as CapEx reality bites, right? Only the strong will survive. So the basic synopsis here is that adoption right now is the important thing. Speed adoption of the market, there is extinction coming. The market will not be able to support this number of model providers that are currently uh, have been here, right? Now you see a lot of this coming because we see more and more money getting dumped in to uh, building these and they're getting, and, and so it says adoption right now is the most important thing. Speed adoption being in the market. This is, ex this. there's an extinction coming. The market will not be able to support this number of model providers. Sorry, we just read the same thing. But from the capital expenditure requirements through to revenue, the cloud makers only bear three and you ex expect the same with gen AI model developers. Now, generative AI is not coming and it's a myth, right? AI services are set for the most rapid growth in the market, climbing from 10 billion to 28 billion in this year, right? A 163% increase. Now, what we're starting to see here is we're starting to see that these executives are waking up and they're seeing that uh, it's not producing anything yet, right? This $644 billion that's being estimated in 2025, even as LM providers are, we're going to start to see these really start to drop off. And we're going to see the investors start to say, hey, where's the ROI on this? See, everybody wanted to get in because there was FOMO that they were going to miss out on Gen AI. But as we see that generative AI, true generative AI, isn't going to become a reality, even with this much money being thrown at it, you're already seeing the market shift where you see things like open AI starting to shift toward agent build and away from AI, open AI. You see Microsoft you know, moving away from, it just recently has now said it's not going to go into six different data center jobs it was going to, right? So AI generated code often is gonna contain subtle, bu subtle bugs, security vulnerabilities, and even references to packages that don't even exist. Recent research found that 5% of package suggestions from commercial AI models were didn't even exist and 25% were just completely hallucinated. So I can tell you that from fixing mysterious AI generated bugs that it often takes longer than just clean code from scratch. Developers who succeed with AI are those who are verifying everything and understand what's happening under the hood. Some companies have discovered that AI generated systems work in isolation but fail catastrophically when they try to integrate into multiple systems. This integration challenge ensures that experienced developers who understand system architecture will remain essential even as AI handles routine code. Now, for AI tools, this what we're seeing here that's so important is this lowers the barrier of entry while simultaneously raising the ceiling of what's possible. So this is really important to understand because we now are being able to plug in and build AI agents to do things we couldn't do before. But who are the ones that really know how to use these? It's developers. You aren't seeing the general mass start to adopt these yet, nor are you seeing them build AI agents. I know your social media feeds full of people who are like, well, all you do is this, this, and this. As a developer, I've gone down those rabbit holes many times to kind of see what they were doing, and every time, it's been smoke and mirrors. Now, if your company is working with systems that aren't connected, reach out to us, because here at Startup Hack, our specialty is connecting systems, especially if you're interested in building out some AI agents so that we can help you get the your company working like a well-oiled machine. Check out startuphack.com slash Spencer because we'd love to help you out. Now, AI is most powerful when it handles the mundane aspect of coding, freeing up developers to, to focus on creative problem solving. So there's a lot of experience that can come with AI coding tools where they sometimes suggest solutions better than what he'd planned to write. So sometimes you run into these scenarios where you look at it, a consultant will be like, oh, hey, that's a good idea. So use it as a, cons uh, as a consultant, right? Most productive teams use AI to generate boilerplate and repetitive patterns patterns while humans focus on architecture and design decisions and integrations. So companies treating developers as mere code producers miss the point that the most valuable software creation happens at the conceptual level. So I've seen AI tools create 10 different implementations of the same feature in seconds, which lets developers compare approaches that they might not have even considered. This explosion of possibilities means more innovation, not fewer developers, because someone still needs to evaluate and integrate these solutions. So there's an interesting study that found that 89% of C-suite executives believe their company's AI strategy, while less than 50% of their employees agree with
with it, right? So according to the study that we were re reaching at the beginning, we are seeing that so many of the employees are unhappy with the way their employers are using AI tools while the C-level thinks it's better than it actually is. There's a huge disconnect to this, and this is the difference between the reality and the hype. And in my 25 years of software development, I've learned that technology adoption only succeeds when genuinely helps people work better. So if it's just C-level trying to stuff this down their throat because they've spent so much money on it, that's never gonna work. The most successful AI implementations I've seen start from the developer's actual pain points rather than executive ma mandates. So my advice for executives is to try to implement AI, listen to your developers about what slows them down, what systems could be automated, and find tools that address those specific pain points. Now, we're still in the early days, and I still think there's an awkward phase of AI coding in these tools where their limitations are notable. I think they're going to get better. Will they replace developers? No. Will they improve developers' uh, efficiency? Absolutely. Have you ever known a developer who sits around twiddling their thumbs? I haven't. Every time you have a developer into an, into an organization, they get busy. And if it could help relieve some of that busyness and make them more efficient, guess what they're going to do? They're going to come up with innovation for you. So these coding tools are impressive, but they're still not replacing developers. Developers get the most value from AI using it as a tool. So AI tools aren't eliminating the need for expertise. They're changing what that expertise looks like in a surprising way. So effective prompting, prompting, verification strategies, and understanding AI's limitations are becoming crucial for developer skills. So I think what you're going to see is a drop off in software developer uh, job postings, and I think you're going to see an increase in software uh, in AI engineering. So if I were a junior developer right now, I would start to dive into AI and make sure I really understand how to use it because you can truly double your effectiveness. Today's most valuable developers aren't those who code the fastest, but those who can effectively harness AI to solve complex problems. So I'm seeing a growing gap between developers who embrace AI as a tool versus those who either avoid it or rely too heavily on it, right? Both ends of the spectrum are bad. We want to be in the middle where we can use it as a good consultant to make us better as developers. Now, we're seeing a shift in the market. We're seeing it shift away from AGI. You see Microsoft you know, running away from OpenAI right now. Definitely see oh, Microsoft has recently just announced they're not going to build out six new data centers they were going to build out. This is a shift. Sam Altman, who was talking all about AI, replacing developers and all that kind of stuff, is now saying his goal is to make developers more productive. Now, he's saying five to 10x. I, I don't see that. I would, I, you know, right now it's about 25%, maybe a quarter percent better. I would love to see it even become 50 to 75% more. So we want to, but I, but I like where this shift is heading because I think this is now a more natural and real use of AI than what we were hearing over the last two years. So uh, in my 25 years of software development uh, and running uh, and 10 years of running teams, I've never heard once heard a CEO say, we have too many features. Let's build fewer things next year. Instead, I think this productivity revolution is going to re unleash a torrent of new software possibilities that previously were too expensive or time consuming to pursue. I have people ask me all the time, is it possible to do this? My answer is always the same. Give me a keyboard, I'll take it to the moon. You can absolutely do anything with amount of developers, amount of time, amount of resources. But the question is, is there enough of those? And there never is. So I think we're going to see an increase of productivity and some cooler things come out of this. Companies are discovering that AI enhanced developers can tackle projects that would have required entire teams in the past. So I do think that what we're seeing is you're not gonna see it replace developers because you still have the integration challenge, right? How do you put these systems together? AI can maybe write a chunk of code or maybe it could even write you one application, but what happens when that application needs to be uh, updated or it needs to be integrated into a system or it needs to be, heaven forbid, a bug fix. This is where AI is really gonna fall down. So I really think the path forward is that we have the skills needed to thrive as a developer and that we're shifting from syntax memorization to system thinking and effective AI collaboration. Traditional coding boot camps that only teach system, syntax are gonna miss this. And that's why Startup Pack is a really good coding boot camp. We teach hands-on experience, and by the time you're done with our coding boot camp, you have an active set of built-together applications. And then 
here in our consulting uh, firm, we're trying to hire as many of these as we can out of the coding bootcamp to put them to work so that you get real world experience. So what's becoming invaluable are developers who understand system thinking, business domain, and how to leverage AI effectively. Unfortunately, I see too many junior developers that are using AI as a crutch. This will be bad. They've got to learn how to use the systems correctly. They've got to learn what the code's doing. So I've never been more excited about the opportunities in front of us. Over the next five to 10 years, we're going to see an explosion of developer jobs that combine human creativity and judgment with some AI power behind it. So if your company has systems that aren't connected, let us help you out. Here at Startup Pack, our specialty is connecting systems or helping you build out AI agents so that your company can work like a well-oiled machine. Check out startuppack.com slash Spencer. We can help you out. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd love to have a great discussion here. And, and so reach out, leave a comment down below. I answer all of them personally. And here's some great information about some of our consulting services because we'd love to help out your company today. Hi, my name is Spencer Thomason and I'm a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology teams and products. So what is a fractional CTO? This is where you can contract someone like myself to come into your organization and get the benefits of a seasoned CTO without having to employ me full time. In today's fast paced world, efficiency, security, and product scaling aren't just goals, they're necessities. My passion is building impactful products and enhancing organizational efficiencies through technology. From startups to small businesses, my approach leverages lean methodologies to not just meet but exceed your strategic goals, whether it's through executive mentoring, cloud system architecture, or launching a minimum viable product swiftly, my aim is to make a significant impact right from the start. Recognized in the Arizona startup ecosystem, my journey has been about creating value and fostering innovation. I have led technology for companies like GoDaddy, SRP, and Wells Fargo, and turned challenges into milestones. I've taken this learning and launched seven of my own brands, and now I want to help you. So if you're looking for a fractional CTO who brings a wealth of experience, strategic vision, and a proven track record, let's connect. Together we can build technology that not only drives your business forward, but also makes a difference. Technology leadership redefined to fit your needs. So reach out today.